Banking Auto 060 y rápidamente we're gonna switch back to English because we're gonna talk about the new 2015 Chrysler 200 with Andy Love, Senior Manager for the Chrysler brand. Well, Andy, uh, thank you first for having us here in Kentucky. Beautiful setting for a beautiful new car for uh, for Chrysler, the 200, which is, uh, I understand, completely different car from what it was uh, the previous generation. Yeah, and it's all new from the ground up. You know, it's built on the Alfa Romeo uh, Giulietta platform, so. Uh, we have an all-new powertrain, all-new chassis, so pretty exciting. Yeah, and we just drove the first leg of the of the drive here this morning on the V6, but you also have the, the four-cylinder car. And I mean, my first impression on the V6 is fantastic. I mean, nothing compared to the, the previous car. And you guys know it, right? It, the previous car, I mean, because of all the, the situation with the company, the, because of not of lack of talent or, like, resources, but just, like, what you were limited to do with that previous generation car. Now it's a completely different thing. Because the company is completely different too. Yeah, we've had basically, un, I wouldn't say unlimited resources, but we have all the different engines and powertrains at our, at our disposal. So the V6, you know, putting out 295 horse is best in class in the segment. So it's got a lot going for it, for sure. Yeah. And uh, also, like, as you said, it's based on the, the platform of the Giulietta, the Alfa Romeo. But, and also technology, like incorporated, like uh, that's what is going back and forth with the Fiat Group and, and, and Chrysler, right? Yeah, it's, it's, been a, it's been a great partnership, really. Um, they have given us the best that they have, you know, a multi-air 2 engine, our standard 2.4, um, you know, comes from them. So, you know, we're able to use what we can from them and then use our, our best technologies as well. It comes to a, a great product. Yeah, which was what I said. I mean, before, I mean, the cars were what they were because of many other factors. I mean, like the, the engineering talent, the design talent is still there. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it's, it's, it's amazing what, how things can change, no? When you have a little more freedom and a little bit more freedom to spend, especially. Absolutely. I mean, you know, Sergio has come in and said, this is the biggest segment in the country, and we are going to be a player in this segment. So, um, and that's why we spent all the money. We put a billion dollars into our Stealing Heights assembly plant because we know how big this, you know, segment is, and, and it's so important to the company going forward. So... It's uh, it's been very refreshing for sure. Yeah, when you refer to Sergio, it's a Sergio Marchioni. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, Sergio Marchioni, Mr. Marchioni, really. No, but uh, I I heard that he has changed also the the dynamics in the company. You know, like the atmosphere. Like I mean, obviously everybody respects him a lot, but all that. But like, it's it's friendly and he's approachable. Uh, from what I understand, like you can come in and say like, uh, let's do this. I have an idea or something like that, right? Yeah, I, I would think. I uh, um, we're so busy with everything going on, and and obviously he's terribly busy, but. Uh, no, he's been a fantastic leader for the company uh, and really taking us in the right direction. So Okay, so can we go a little bit more in detail about the new 200? Uh, sure. You said the four-cylinder, and uh, talk about a little bit that, please. Yeah, so our standard powertrain is our, our nine-speed transmission. We're the first one in the segment with the nine-speed. Uh, that's paired to our, our multi-air 2.4-liter two, uh, uh, four-cylinder engine. Uh, that gets Right now, we're estimating 35 miles per gallon uh, highway. Don't have the full EPA rating yet, but that's what we're expecting. And then you can opt up to our 3.6 Pentastar V6. That's a awards top 10 engine for like the last three, four years. So uh, that's a great powertrain. And then you can also get our all-wheel drive system that's new to the car. Um, it's the most advanced one in the segment in that it's fully disconnecting and completely seamless to the customer. So Yeah. And uh, with all that, there's a lot of uh, new technology. For example, the new transmission uh, switch here, or how do you call it? The Rotary dial. Rotary dial. Yeah. That debuted in the Ram 1500, if I'm not mistaken, and yeah. now it's bringing into this car, which not only looks cool, yeah. <laughs> it's very, very easy to use, but also free us up a lot of space here in the center console. Yeah, we do have the first use of a full e-shift in the company. We've had the rotary dial, which is fantastic for a nice look, but now since it's a full electronic shift, um, you know, it, it takes the packaging size way down. So we're able to have... And a completely open center console with a pass-through storage underneath the cup holders to give us the most storage in class. Uh, and really, more importantly, it wraps everything around the, the, the driver. So everything is really at hand's reach because we don't have to package around a traditional yeah. uh, shifter. So it's, it's just a fantastic way to basically start a, a brand new interior. Yeah. And then let's finally with the trims. And how many versions and what are the prices for the, for the 200? So we have four different trim models. Uh, we start with our LX, that's priced at $21.7. Uh, and we go up from there to our limited price class, which is what uh, we're sitting in now. Uh, and this is $23,255. Uh, and then we kind of go from there, we go to our Sporty S model. That starts at $24,495. And then we have our C, the top line premium uh, price class, and that's priced at $25,995. Uh, okay. We drove the S class mm -hmm. uh, with all-wheel drive. 
Yep. And like a lot of uh, pretty much every option, I think. Yeah. I think maybe the sunroof. Can you get a sunroof and yep. the cars? Well, I think what that was said. I mean, that's a fantastic car, and like mm. the price was around thirty-two thousand, I believe. Yeah. Uh, and I mean that's a very competitive price for what you get, right? And and that's probably the message that is going to be the next hard job for you guys to communicate that, right? Yeah, no, it's it's you know a really unique package when you think of almost 300 horse and an all-wheel drive, uh, very advanced all-wheel drive system, nine-speed paddle shifters, uh, wonderful radio system with our best in class. Yeah, that huge uh, screen is amazing. Yeah, and all that 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 provides, and you know the all-wheel drive S starts under thirty thousand dollars, which is way below most of the competitors. I mean, if you look at, you know, like a Ford Fusion all-wheel drive, it starts around 32. So um, absolutely, you can opt that car up, and you're basically at the starting point of where other cars at. Yeah, very, exactly. Very interesting point now in the in the industry now because we're seeing, like, uh, Mercedes-Benz and Audi coming down, actually mm -hmm. announcing 2,900, which I, you cannot get. <laughs> because, yeah. I mean, but when you get, like, 32,000 for this car, which is fantastic, it has everything, and this, they're, in their case, it's only the starting point. Yeah, no, we're, we've actually seen this segment going the other direction. We've seen yeah, this exactly. segment. I mean, you know, Ford uh, Fusion goes up to like thirty nine thousand mm -hmm. dollars, and the, the the top end Honda Accord starts at thirty four thousand dollars. So um, we're putting more and more technology into our mainstream cars, so to give that customer everything they want at a great price point. So. And this, uh, more people are expecting that, right? I mean, I guess mm -hmm. not only Chrysler, the Chrysler Group is doing that. But everybody's doing it because every customer knows that all this technology is available and they almost want it like not for free but they want to get it cheap absolutely i mean this segment used to be i wouldn't kind of like a refrigerator segment back yeah. in the day where it was just basic transportation anymore though customers don't want to compromise they want all the advanced technologies they want the, the advanced radios they want all the advanced safety features too uh, and that's why we've really brought you know over 60 advanced safety features to this car yeah speaking of which that uh, like pretty advanced uh intelligent cruise control that like uh, basically stops the car and uh, that's yeah. technology that didn't exist in this segment like or it all only existed in like very high-end expensive cars right yeah i mean right now we have four class exclusive features uh, adaptive cruise with full stop uh, we're the only ones with that in the segment so that can fully stop your car in the freeway we also have forward collision warning plus so that that can stop the car by itself if you're going you know 15 miles an hour and the car stops in front of you it will absolutely stop the car without any mm -hmm. interaction we also have lane departure with keep assist, so that'll keep your car in the lane if, it's, if you start to drift out of it. Um, we also have things like parallel and perpendicular park wow. assist. So it's almost getting there to the autonomous driving. <laughs> I know. I mean, it's it's a lot of it, a lot of aids for sure. Yeah. Um, Excellent. Thank you very much, Andy. I'm gonna keep enjoying the fabulous roads here in Kentucky. Thank you. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.